Hey everyone, my name is Eric with shuckabuck.com and in this video I'm going to talk about the very basics of getting started with Facebook ads. This is the video number one. Um, I'm going to create a whole playlist on YouTube and a series on my website and um, probably post them on Facebook. But this is video number one if you're a very beginner. We're going to go ahead and start um, creating an ad account and getting set up for your ads. So the first thing you need to do is actually create a Facebook page. You cannot run ads on your personal account. You need a page. Um, so this is my Facebook page, not my personal account, and this is my personal account. So in order to set up a page, we're gonna have to go into the home page of Facebook or the news feed of Facebook. And then on the left side here, you're gonna see a number of things. One of them is pages, and under that, you're gonna see create page. So um, this is where it takes you. It's literally like three clicks. Um, now, you, it, they, in the past, they made you go through a little process of setting up a page, um, but now it's basically a few clicks and you have a page going. So select what type of page you are, if you're a local business or you're a band or if you're simply selling a brand of products or you're a community or a cause for something choose any of these it doesn't matter what you choose just um, choose one of them probably um, a lot of you are going to be a brand or a product um, so just choose your um, your uh, category and then create a name for your page and then click get started I'm not going to do this because it actually does set up a page for you right away once you click this get started button so I'm not gonna do that. Basically, it's gonna take you to a page that looks like this, except it's going to say, you know, uh, upload a profile picture, upload a cover photo, create an about um, section, and stuff like that. Some of the basics that you need for a Facebook page. So now that you have a Facebook page set up, the other thing you're gonna to need to do is go into the ad manager and start creating ads. So in order to find that, you go to the top right little down arrow up here and then go to manage ads. <clears throat> Once you go here, you're gonna to have to probably create an account. I haven't created an account for a long time, years, so I'm not sure of the process that you have to go through, but I'm, I'm sure it's not very, um, it's not very hard to get set up. But once you do, you will have, um, uh, once you go to this page, you will see something like this. Top left is all your navigation, your ads manager, your audiences, and all that kind of stuff. And you can see all the tools if you go down to the all tools link. So um, where you're gonna be working and looking at data and things like that, is the ad is manager and I'm just gonna walk you through that take a look and see what it looks like in this video I'm just gonna be walking you through and telling you what it looks like and explaining you know a few of the basics in the next video I'm gonna go through um, you know the types of campaigns and, and ad sets and stuff like that um, so this is what it looks like up top you're gonna have your name and your account you're gonna have the create ad button if you wanted to start creating ads right away um, you just have some information from Facebook here. Here's your spend in the last seven days. And then all your campaigns that you have and your results and amount spent. So if you would click on one of these campaigns, um, you would see all your data. And I'm gonna go into lifetime just so you can see it. Oops. So here is all my ad sets. All my ad sets um, are basically targeting different things. Um, so I'm, I'm testing a little bit with this. And so in this ad set, I spent $155. You can go into performance and clicks here and see you know, how well each of them performed. Um, but we'll get into that into the, in the next videos that I'm gonna be creating for you guys. Um, one other thing that you might want to, to look at is the audience insights tool under the plan section. Um, this is where you can, you know, create some cold audiences. Basically, if you click on everyone on Facebook, um, for example, let's say that you sell, um, 
that you sell women's jewelry and you could do something like jewelry or making jewelry no let's just go with jewelry that's not an under, not even how you spell it jewelry take that one out so um, look at that 92 it's 92 oops let me get that out of there 92 percent women eight percent men and then you can look at um, different pages that you can target and categories and interests and stuff like that and it looks like the audience insights tool is not working again sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it does it may be my internet connection but everything else is loading so it's probably not um, once in a while the audience insights tool is getting updated or they're doing some changes in the back end and something's just not working right and it's not loading um, and it looks like today is one of those days anyway um, if you go back into the uh, menu bar um, you can go your settings are all right here your ad account settings and your billing um, all your assets like your audiences you can create custom audiences your images and your pixels pixels are something that we're going to be talking more about as well as audiences and images um, you can go into your ads reporting your uh, conversions um, and then your ads manager the power editor which I'll go into a little bit um, and page posts and app ads helper um, which I don't know if a lot of you have apps and you're going to be promoting apps but um, that's what you can use to help you I've never used it so I don't know what app ads helper is so we're not gonna be going over that since I don't know what I'm talking about there um, but that's the basics of getting your ad account set up and ready to go in the next video I'm gonna be talking about um, the different campaigns you can set up ad sets and ads so we'll see you guys in the next video